We make jokes about not being able to do maths. It's socially acceptable. We say things like, oh, maths, I can't do that. It's not for me, and everyone laughs. But we'd never make a joke like that about not being able to read. So we've got to change this anti-maths mindset. We've got to start prizing numeracy for what it is, a key skill every bit as essential as reading. I admit, as I said, not going to happen overnight. Right? This is a big long-term reform, but we're taking the first step today. It's about figuring out well, what's the content. And once we've got the content right, then I can come back and then talk to you about, well, what does that mean for the new teachers, how we're going to teach the course, and then how we're going to roll it out. It's right that we respect, we revere, and we support our teachers, and I'm so grateful to them for the incredible job they do. Um, and that's why we worked really hard to find a way to come to a, what I thought was a reasonable and fair settlement on pay. And it represented about an 8% increase for most teachers, around a 13% increase for new teachers, obviously I'm disappointed, and as I said, I, I don't want our kids' education to be disrupted. I think no one wants to see that. Our door is always open, and we, you know, we continue to hope that we can find a way through.